Hey friends, it's Sharon with Hosting God's Presence. Guess what day it is? It is day 50. I want to thank you for listening for these last 50 days. I pray this podcast has been a blessing to you, that it's brought you value, that it's taken you deeper into uh, the Word of God and to connecting with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that you've learned how to host Him, that you desire Him above all else. Because remember, God's presence looks like something. This is episode 50, Shavuot, Pentecost, the day has fully come. Jesus told his followers to go and tarry, to wait until the promise of the Holy Spirit. He said the promise of the Father. I think that's really significant. Wait until the promise of the Father. You see, God's family fulfilling the mandate to fill the earth with more kids for the Father and to extend God's presence throughout the earth began in Genesis 1. That's what the presence of God looks like, hosting God's presence. See, the whole earth is destined, as we learned yesterday, to be filled with the glory of God. And we are the carriers. Colossians 1.27 says in the Passion Translation, living within you is the Christ who floods you with the expectation of glory. The mystery of Christ embedded within you becomes a heavenly treasure chest of hope filled with the riches of the glory for his people And God wants everyone, everywhere to know it. Christ in you, the hope of glory. God wants you and I to be such carriers of his presence, of his glory, that we are the hope of the world seeing him. Because without us representing Jesus in the earth realm, the world won't know him. Because he's already died. He's already ascended. He sits at the right hand of the Father. Our mission, if we choose to accept it, is to be glory carriers and represent Jesus every day, everywhere, with everyone we meet. Elohim, we welcome you here. We have set our face these last 50 days to seek your face, to become a host of your presence so that we can manifest, represent Yeshua, Jesus, to the world. Because he is truth. He is love. He is righteousness. He is trustworthy. He values and honors people people above things, above mission, above projects, above accolade. He values us. He wants us to value people. He wants us to represent him well. So you said to wait. You said to tarry. We have done that these last 50 days. Every day we've sought your face. Every day we've gotten into your word. Every day we've asked you to manifest yourself to us so that we could represent you well. And today, the day has arrived. It has fully come. The 50 days of counting the Omer, actually it's 49 days of counting the Omer, and the 50th day is Pentecost. This is the day of Pentecost, Shavuot. Acts 2, 1 through 13 tells us, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place, and suddenly a wind Remember, the wind represents the presence of God, the Holy Spirit. Suddenly, the presence of God comes in the room. They heard the sound of a violent blast of wind rushing to the house from out of the holy heavenly realm. The roar of the wind was so loud. it 
was overwhelming. It was all anyone could hear. The roar, which I cannot make, was overpowering, and it's all everyone could hear. And then a pillar of fire wow, shows up on the scene. The glory of God, the presence of God. Then all at once a pillar of fire appeared before their eyes. It separated into tongues of fire that engulfed each one of them, engulf us with tongues of fire today. They were all filled and equipped with the Holy Spirit and were inspired to speak in tongues, empowered by the Holy Spirit to speak in languages they had never learned. The world was astounded. Now, at that time, there were Jewish worshipers who had migrated from many different lands to to live in Jerusalem. When the people of the city heard the roaring sound, Crowds came running to where they were, stunned over what was happening because each one could hear the disciples speaking in his or her own language. Speaking in tongues is a powerful gift. And it says when we speak in tongues, we're speaking a heavenly language. But on this day, God allowed people to hear the tongues from heaven as their own language. God wants to empower us to speak the language of men, to be able to speak their language so that we can relate to them the glorious gospel of the kingdom of God in a way that they understand it. Verse 7 goes on to say say in Acts 2, verse 7, Bewildered, these men said to one another, Aren't these all Galileans? So how is it that we hear them speaking in our own language? We are Northeast Iranians, Southwest Iranians, Elamites, and those from Macedonia, Judea, East Central Central Turkey, the coastal areas of the Black Sea, Asia, North Central Turkey, Southern Turkey, Egypt, Libyans, who are neighbors of Cyrene. Visitors from all over the Roman Empire, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet, we all hear them speaking of God's mighty wonders in our own dialect. Get this, they're speaking in tongues, but the Holy Spirit is causing the people that were there, these were all these different kinds of people groups that were there, hearing the mighty works of God in their own dialect. So when they were speaking in tongues, they were describing God's mighty wonders, his works. They said, what is this phenomenon? God's presence, his Holy Spirit, power upon his people. Verse 12, they all stood there dumbfounded and astounded, saying to one another, what is this phenomenon? But others poked at them and said, See, some people are going to receive God's presence when this presence movement really gets released and wonders and mighty signs and wonders and miracles are going to happen. Some people are going to receive it and hear it in their own language and they're going to participate in it and they're going to come into the kingdom of God. But others are going to be like this group. They poked fun and they said, these are just drunk with new wine. But Peter declares to the masses, this is that which was prophesied long ago. Verse 16. They're just drunk on new wine. No, he says, this is the fulfillment of what was prophesied through the prophet Joel, for God says, this is what I will do in the last days. I will pour out my spirit on everybody and cause your sons and your daughters to prophesy and your young men will see visions and your old men will experience dreams from God. The Holy Spirit will come upon all servants, servants, men and women alike, and they will prophesy. I will reveal startling signs and wonders in these days. 
Signs, wonders, and miracles are part of this new presence movement. It is just another extension of God's original outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Pillar of fire, the presence of God. Understanding what people, understanding people, being able to speak to them in their language that they comprehend. There's going to be phenomenon. There's going to be power upon God's people. There's going to be prophecy and there's going to be signs and wonders and miracles. This is all a part of this end time outpouring. Because friends, if you didn't already know, we are in the end times. And it's time for God's presence, another full expression of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and power with fire to come upon his people. Because remember, it says we will be witnesses unto him. We will be messengers of his heavenly wisdom, his heavenly words. We will represent Jesus well with all of his power and all of his glory, we will do greater works than Jesus did because he went to the Father and he gave us the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you here. We wait. We invite you, Holy Spirit. We invite you, presence of God. We say, do it again. Come, Yahweh. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and fire. Empower us to astound the world with who you are. Enable us to speak their language in such a way that they come to know Jesus' goodness and his love. We want to host your presence. And we want to be carriers of your glory. The world is longing. They're hoping for something good. They're hoping for change. We are the change agent they're hoping for because we are gloriers, glory carriers, carriers of God's glory. That's what they're looking for, glory. They're looking for power. They're looking for signs and wonders. They're looking for phenomenon. That's why they go to the new age and all these other things that they seek after. But we have the answer and it's the Holy Spirit and it's the Father and it's the Son, Elohim. Friends, become a glory carrier. Host God's presence today. Represent Jesus to the earth realm. Be full of the Holy Spirit, fire and power. Go about doing good, healing all that are sick. Take an authority over anything that the enemy is doing to oppress people because the presence of God is with you, upon you, and in you. I say it so. I decree that over your life. I bless you. I thank you for listening. The song today is There's an Outpouring by Ty Bello. It's an incredible song. Make sure you listen to it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter so you can find out what's going on. Great things are happening. Check out our bio link. Until next year, or maybe next week, this is Sharon. Bye-bye.